going to go over my favorite gas plugin that's available for free for all users with the release of fabs. So let's head over to windows and open up fab. I'm going to go to the fab tab and just type in, I'm just going to type up Ninja gas, select the first one. It's totally free. Add to your project like so, and it's uh, added already. Okay. Just going to check my vault, make sure it's installed. Now it's done installing. Now I'm just going to go to edit plugins, search for gas and enable Ninja gas and restart again. And now it's really easy to set up. I'm just going to go to content, create a new folder. I'll call this gas, get into it, right click. And then you're going to see this Ninja bear studio pop up when you try to create assets. I'm going to go ahead and select get Ninja gas and gas setup. And I'll go ahead and call this data asset something like a Ninja gas. I'll just leave it as Ninja gas. And what we need to do is actually configure the asset manager before we start opening this up. I'm just going to head over to edit project settings, and then I will go to asset manager under game. Under the primary assets type to scan, I'm just going to go ahead and add an index. And this one will be for our Ninja gas. So what I'm going to type in is going to be the asset name. The primary asset type is going to be called ability bundle data. And then we can select the asset base class, which is going to be the Ninja gas data asset. There is a ton. Don't get it confused. Make sure it's set to Ninja gas data asset. And then I'm going to add one to the directories. Click on this plus sign. And under the directories, I'm just going to put it to slash game slash data slash abilities like so. And then I'll go ahead and open up rules and make sure that the cook rule is set to always cook. And that's pretty much all we need from here. So I can go ahead and just exit this out. And I'll open up that data asset that we created called Ninja Gas. And we're going to see quite a few things. So we see the default attribute set, default gameplay effects, gameplay abilities, and initial gameplay tags. So on the page in the description below, it's going to lead you to the initialization data tab, which simply has a JSON file that we can import into our project, which gives us stuff like our health, max health, and it sets the base value to 100 of each of these and so on. There's just a ton of stats in here that you can use. And of course, if you don't want to use this, you can actually configure the C++ yourself. You don't have to follow the steps uh, shown here. But just in case you want a pretty simple, easy plug and play type thing without having to touch C++, this is really the way to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this by clicking this copy button on the top right. I'll go ahead and open up Notepad, just paste this in here, and then I'll hit save. I'll save it to my desktop and I'll call this um, something like test.json because it's going to be a JSON file and go ahead and hit save to save to your desktop. And now I can simply just drag this JSON file in and for the import as, make sure it's select to data table. And then for the data table row type, I'm going to select attribute metadata and hit apply. And it'll just show up as test in this case, because that's what we named it. I'll double click to open this up and you can actually go through and see your base values. You can go ahead and click on any of these and adjust them. You can add whatever you like over here and so on. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And yeah, I'll just use this test file. And now let's go back to the Ninja gas data table like so. And from here, I'm just going to add a default attribute set. I'm going to have this drop down and then I'll select the ability system test attribute. And for the attribute table, we're going to select that test data table that we imported earlier. And that's pretty much all we need. Uh, simple as that. Now I'm going to go back to my third person map and next to my Ninja gas and test, I'm going to right click and look for a blueprint. I'm going to drop this down, drop down all classes and look for a Ninja gas player state. And I'll just call this something like um, player state underscore ninja gas and i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this over to my player state class double click to open this up and now you're going to notice that there's an ability system component if you're making a multiplayer game make sure it is on the player state you can also do this directly into your ninja character and i'll show you that in a second so with the ability system component selected next to default ability setup go ahead and select that data asset that i called ninja gas and that's all you need compile save and you're good to go and now back in your third person map, I'm going to go over to my default pawn class, which is our BP third person character, open this up. And now all I need to do is reparent the character to the ninja gas player character. So you're going to notice two things. There is a ninja gas character and a ninja gas player character. So the player character will obtain the ability system component from the player state as it states when you hover over it. And the ninja gas character comes with a pre-configured ability system component. So if I go ahead and select ninja gas character, you're going to see the ASC or the ability system component pop up over here. And then I can just add that ninja gas over here. This is good for single player games, right? But we're using the player state. I want it multiplayer. So I'm going to go ahead and change the class settings to ninja gas player state like so. It's going to get rid of that 
and then to gas player character like so it's going to get rid of that ability system component don't worry about it hit save go back to third person map and let's actually try this out and now when i hit play and hit the tilde key which is on the left of your one on your keyboard and type in show debug ability system you're going to see your stats displayed on the left and that's how you set up gas without touching c plus plus in unreal engine for free the free plugin available on fabs now thanks for watching code grow like subscribe comment what you want to see next and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching